Hey guys, George Lehman here again. Um, about to change hotel rooms, uh, so it's not very clean in here at the moment because I'm, well, I'm not packing my stuff, my girlfriend's packing my stuff, but I'm about to change rooms. Um, this is where I'm staying. I've been here like a week and a half. Just want to pan around the room. There's a bedroom over here. Um, this is a balcony. It's a pretty, it's the biggest balcony I've ever had at a, at a hotel. Um, The, lake. the, uh, the second bedroom it's kind of dirty um, but what I wanted to make a video about today is uh, <laughs> um, Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin. Uh, a lot of my friends on Facebook have been talking about cryptocurrency not so much over the last year because it's not done well it's lost you know most people lost a bunch of money over the last year although they probably made a bunch of money to start with but um, I want to tell you why I think real estate is better than cryptocurrency or at least Bitcoin, at least currently. So now, if you bought Bitcoin years ago, or even, what, a year and a half ago, it was like $3,000 or something, you probably made a lot of money. But I'm gonna talk about Bitcoin today compared to real estate today. Um, so Bitcoin, at the moment, is around 40,000, it's like 38,000, something like that. Um, real estate is also overpriced, but let's, let's compare the two. Let's say that Bitcoin did incredibly well over the next 30 years. Let's say just ridiculously well, let's say it went to a million dollars, okay, by owning Bitcoin. Um, I'm gonna tell you why I think real estate is better than that. So, so this is specifically for Americans. I don't know how this applies to everyone else. In America, you can buy a property, specifically an owner-occupied property on an FHA mortgage for three and a half percent down. I think there are some government programs that will actually let you put no money down. Um, however, uh, just for regular people, three and a half percent down. And you can even be gifted that money from family or friends or whatever to, uh, to put that money down. You just have to show proper income, credit, stuff like that. Um, so three and a half percent down. Over a period of 30 years, it would pay itself off. If it didn't go up in price, you'd go from three and a half percent down to 100 percent paid off, which is a uh, you know, multiple of around 30, right? Make 30 times your money. So crypto would have to go up to 1.2 million to do that well. Now mind you, there are fees, okay? So I'll give you like sort of a nearly an exact example. So 3.5% down on a $200,000 fourplex in somewhere like you know, Ohio or something like that. Um, 7,000 plus closing costs, blah, blah, blah. Let's say it's another 10. Um, so you spend $17,000. Let's also assume that property goes up in price. Um, places in, I bought in Florida for, you know, 40 grand, they're worth almost 250 now, you know, six, seven years, eight years later. Um, but let's just assume very minimal increasing in price, you know, 3% a year, something like that on average over 30 years. So let's just say your $200,000 place went up to $400,000, okay? And you invested 17 grand, so whatever that is, you know, 15 times your money. Um, however, you're also going to make money. Um, the property will cash flow. It'll pay you. It'll pay you an average that increases over time as rents go up over time and your mortgage, is, your mortgage stays the same. Now, obviously, you'll save money by living in the property. So you might save a few hundred dollars a month or a thousand dollars, make and save a total of a thousand dollars a month by living there and renting out the, the other three units. But let's just say that you only made an average of $500 a month over the entire 30-year period and you put that in the stocks at 10%. Um, now, of course, you could just buy more real estate with it, which would make this effect much crazier. But let's just say you put it in the stocks, and let's say you only made 500 a month, which is like ridiculously low. Over a period of 30 years, you're gonna average much more than 500 a month, that's absurd. Um, but let's just say you did it in the stocks, it's like a million dollars or something like that. So on the low end of things, things not going very well, $17,000 turns into 1.4 million or 1.5 million or something like that on the low end of things. Um, cryptocurrency, 17 grand Bitcoin, if it went up to a million, um, you would have whatever, 500, 450 grand or something like that. So on the low end of things with real estate, I think, you know, it's probably more likely you'll do three times as good. Um, but it's probably also much more likely to be much more ridiculous than that. So something along the lines of, Maybe you said $1,000 a month by renting out the rooms, or sorry, the, uh, the units. And maybe you even rent a room in your own unit that you live in and you save on rent. So you start off saving, making an extra thousand. 
Within one or two years, you can buy another one. Um, it'd have to be a certain distance away to be an FHA, but you move for work, whatever, you can do that. Um, so you can do this multiple times, and over a period of a handful of years, by putting down that initial 17,000 or whatever it is, um, you get yourself four or six or eight or 10 or 12 or whatever units. And then first of all, you would never have to do anything again if you lived in a place like this, which this hotel room, I mean, like I said, there's another bedroom over there. Um, this is 60 bucks a day. It's on the expensive side of things. I could rent a room for $15, that would be fine as well. I'll go into a place that's 37, it's also pretty decent. Um, just because the room is booked today, I, I didn't book it long enough. But if you were to repeat this process, if you were to do poorly with it, you'd probably end up with like one and a half million or something like that over 30 years from investing 17 grand. If you were to do good with it and refinance your property from time to time to buy more properties or use the money you save to buy more properties and try to accumulate properties, you would end up, I don't know, as much, as much money as you wanted over a given period of time. It's, you could just ex expand on that infinitely, more or less. Um, as an example, like I said, I had places I bought, one of them for 35 grand, it's worth 230. I borrowed money against it before, I've refinanced again, I've used it to buy other places that then went up in price that I also refinanced to buy other places. It's called a buy, rehab, uh, rent, refinance, BRRR. Um, and it's just like, it's very easy to do. Uh, you do have to have it show a certain amount of income, but you know, it's a very simple process. And I think it works much better than Bitcoin. There's also other benefits. Um, first of all, real estates, more, more millionaires have been created by that than anything. Um, it's been around since the beginning of time. People are always gonna need a place to stay. Um, great inflation protection, great income, somewhere for you to live. Um, but on top of that, unlike Bitcoin or stocks, you can't just sell your place. You can't panic and sell your house. The prices don't shoot up and down 50% overnight or something like that um so you're you're very unlikely to sell your property you're very unlikely to panic and try and get rid of your things and that's the best thing you could do with investing is just keep whatever you thought well keep your good investment whatever that is um so there are a handful of benefits to, to real estate other than the tax benefits other than you know leveraging your money like i just think in general it's a much better investment than cryptocurrency this is not to say you shouldn't buy cryptocurrency. This is not to say real estate has done um, better than cryptocurrency. However, um, if you want to compare three and a half percent down on a forty thousand dollar house that goes up to two hundred fifty thousand, and then borrowing against that multiple times to buy multiple more properties that also doubled in value, and borrowing against like the forty thousand dollar house I bought, I could have put down three and a half, you know, seven thousand dollars total, and I would probably have you know a million and a half worth of real estate from it at this point, um, just from leveraging it up and it going up in price and buying more properties. So that's how you can turn a few thousand dollars into an extremely early retirement, extremely quickly, and have a reliable income, income source that goes up forever. Whereas, you know, cryptocurrency, nothing wrong with it, but not exactly the same benefits. So there's my take on it, guys. That's why I think you should be doing real estate investing. Um, if I knew something better, I would tell you about it. I think it's just easy. I think it's just simple. Um, and I think people that are even good at building other businesses also put their money into real estate. It's like just something that wealthy people seem to do. Um, seems to be a, a good investment for everyone, not just me. Um, as always, guys, thanks for watching my videos. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. If you're interested in coaching for real estate investing, I'm not doing it right now, but let me know. If there's enough interest, I'll put something together for you guys. Thanks.